This is breakfast for today, so I've got a couple of slices of brioche with avocado and roasted sesame seeds and a rolled omelette that is a bit too brown, but it's going to taste good nonetheless. So this is what we're having. Because I just cooked some eggs, I need a little bit of cleansing slash you know changing the scent so this is frankincense so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on Carly if you are watching this I'm sorry because I'm sure this is bringing you anxiety to see like me playing with coals in the house Good morning everybody. I think this is the first, it's actually good afternoon now to be honest. I think this is the first face to camera though that we've had today. Um, just had breakfast as you guys saw, woke up, I had a little lion today, I think I woke up at about 9.30. Made my breakfast, made my coffee, cleaned up a little bit, had some before, some frankincense and then I had a friend come over my friend Georgie who lives in Dubai and she's here to see her family and obviously right now with COVID and everything going on it's such a joy to be able to have people from abroad and actually see them because we haven't seen our friends for so long so that was really nice we kind of just sat on the sofa and chatted for about three hours or four hours before she had to go um, and I forgot to tell her that I was vlogging, so I actually couldn't have her in the vlog. But uh, that's pretty much all I've done this morning. I'm going to sit and either watch some YouTube, actually, or I will sit and read. This is what I'm currently reading. It's called Are Women on the Ground? And it's uh, Arab women reporting from the Arab world. And I don't know how many of you know, if you've been watching for a while or if you're if you know me in real life. Um, I was a journalist for five years. I was a national journalist. So it's something that I find incredibly interesting, incredibly fascinating. So I'm really looking forward to getting through that. The ones that I've read so far are heartbreaking and funny and interesting and insightful and just show me how smart these women are, which is incredible. What do I have planned for today? I don't know. I will probably cook lunch in a little bit. I have some maintenance coming in to fix some lights over here and a few other bits and bobs and then I might be going out for dinner tonight which is really exciting because in Bahrain today yesterday today's the fourth yesterday was the first day the restaurants opened for outdoor dining so I might be going out to dinner but my friend's a little unsure of her schedule so I might go out for coffee by myself we'll see what ends up happening but I definitely want to like go out today um yeah so that's it probably just going to be a homey, chill kind of vlog, but I hope that you guys enjoy it. And can we, by the way, take a second for all of my friends that have joined me? I'm sorry, but that is my face today. <laughs> I just remembered that I wanted to do this unboxing with you guys, and uh, I've had this for several days, but haven't opened it because I wanted to do it um, to show you what it was. So let's get into this. Basically, I didn't want to do like a separate video for it because it's not like a large item or anything, but it is a handbag. 
and uh, as you can see it's from Tory Burch and basically I have been needing for the longest 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 time something that is quite kind of versatile and everyday that I can wear and I went in, and I don't actually have any other Tory Burch bags. I'm not massive on Tory Burch in general, I've got to be honest. But I was looking specifically for a tote bag, and they do some really good totes. So I went in and I had a look, and their bigger totes weren't quite for me. They were really nice, but just not what I want right now. But then I saw this little thing. Uh, let me get all of the other, um, what's it called, things off it and I'll come back. But basically it's this really beautiful, um, quite grainy leather. It's got very like minimal branding. It also has a little, um, what is this called? Like, you know, the dangly bit that has the logo inside. And I probably would wear it without this most of the time, to be honest but it's just so versatile, it can fit a book, something to just kind of grab and go, great for work, um, yeah. Oh, and it's a really affordable price um, for a designer bag. So this was around, I wanna say 150 something dinars. So a really good bag if you want kind of like an entry level piece as well. This is kind of what it looks like on, so I'm just holding it from the top handle here. Obviously, wouldn't be wearing it with something like this. I'm just in my house dress. But uh, yeah, in the crook of the arm. So this is what it would look like crossbody. And it's just really kind of <laughs> just cute, useful, ameli, as we say in Arabic. Just something that you can kind of throw on and go, and I just love that will fit larger items. I have a lot of smaller bags because I like them, but uh, this will be great, especially kind of for work or for when I'm out in coffee shops and things like that. These are the details for anybody that's interested. And the bag kind of has a snap closure. If I try to open that. Oh, I'm pulling at the wrong place. So that's like a little kind of snap closure. And then it has two sections with a middle section so i guess three sections with a zip there in the middle and then two parts on either side clip that shut as i said i would probably wear it without this especially since the red would you know constrict outfits and stuff but i just think it's really sweet So my little Diffenbacher is actually not doing so great. I mean, the leaves at the top are really wonderful, but just so many leaves at the bottom died. It kind of looks more like a tree than a bushy, beautiful plant, which makes me sad. I was underwatering it um, and just didn't realize because so many people had told me that I shouldn't give it a lot of water. But my snake plant is doing really well. This little thing is doing wonderfully. We've even got some new little sprouts there, if you can see. Over here we've got this dude. It's doing really, really well. Happy with its progress and just such a beautiful one that keeps moving. And then my ZZ plant over here, which is the big one. And then I've got a little, little one down at the bottom over here. Here's a healthy dose of realism. <laughs> I just got really hungry, realized I hadn't eaten anything since breakfast, which was at 10.30 this morning, and it is now 5.30 in the, in the afternoon. So I bought these just to see if they are any good because, you know, it's, I don't obviously, want to use them all the time because they're not that healthy and also not that sustainable but um, it's good to have for exactly the kind of occasion that I just had so they're actually pretty good for instant noodles these little chopsticks are ones that I bought in Tokyo 10 years ago no 12 years ago in 2008 and I still use them and love them so very much so this is going to be 
probably not dinner dinner, but like a um, semi-dinner. I'll probably eat something else. So for my rice, I've just added the rice with some olive oil, cinnamon sticks, and salt. And definitely using my rice cooker for the lazy method today. For the chicken, I'm going to keep it ridiculously easy today. I'll butterfly the chicken or just pound it down so that it doesn't have as many thick parts. I'm going to add some lemon juice and uh, slices of lemon, salt and pepper. And then what I'm going to do is after it comes out the oven, I'm going to add brown butter with sage and lemon as well. So I've got my butter in a little pan. I'm going to be using dried sage today just because I don't have any fresh. And then I'll add the lemon to that as well just as soon as this starts to melt. So we're going to brown this butter and then add everything else. And here it is. It looks incredible. I'm really excited to dig into this. I am quite hungry. It's almost eight o'clock now. Just gone eight. Hey guys, so just ready to go out and this is my outfit. I have got, actually I could have unboxed this with you guys as well today. It's from JW Pay. I don't know if my camera will focus. The text is pretty small. There we go. Um, and it's one of the only times, actually the only time, Instagram has ever worked on me in terms of an ad. I have my um, purple suede Sam Edelman pumps on. These are the most comfortable heels I own. My jeans are from Splash. I have no idea where this, um, where this white tee is from. I have owned it for maybe 10 years. I've owned it since I was at university. So it's been a long time. So this is what we are looking like today. And all I'm doing is going out to get a cup of coffee. Not doing very much, but since the coffee shop's open today, I just thought it'd be nice to look cute and just go out and I'm gonna take my book with me and just sit and read for a bit in the fanciest outfit that I've done in a little while. Oh, let me do my, my, um, my jewelry. This is what I'm wearing today. My watch is actually my grandma's, um, and my dad gave it to me. It's my grandma on my mother's side who had given it to my father who gave it to me. <laughs> and then the bracelet is the same bracelet, little cuff thing that I showed you from Zane the other day. The ring that I am wearing here on my middle finger is one that I bought for myself about 
three years ago, four years ago. Very traditional design, but also has like a little twist. This ring is my mom's, and it's rubies, diamonds, and it's part of a set. And in this hand, I've got uh, a couple of bangles. These are 24 karat bangles made in Turkey. And then my Alzane ring that I have on my thumb this time, and keeping it plain elsewhere. So this is actually one of my favorite coffee shops in Bahrain. They do amazing roasts and they had the little micro brew going on right now. So I filmed it and I've just grabbed an iced decaf oatly milk latte and a little brownie. So I'm just going to sit here, read my book and enjoy actually being able to be outside. Also, if you guys can see that, the moon. <laughs> Try and hide the light. The moon is huge today. I would just like it noted that my mask matched my that's my phone. My mask matched my bag and my shoes because we classy like that. We like it. We like it. And now I'm having a chat with my best friend. Hello. Hello, my love. By the way, you're on my vlog right now. Like I am I am literally <laughs> like saying that I was gonna call you, so you're gonna be in my vlog this week. Yay! I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's drive. It is 1.30 in the morning and we just hung up, so that was a nice, long, chatty phone call. And I don't know if I'm going to sleep yet. I think hopefully I will. Um, but my sleep's been really, really off recently, so we'll see what happens. But that is the end of the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a nice homey vlog with a little outing now that things are opening back up in Bahrain and a little unboxing. So I feel like I feel like I gave you a little bit of everything. Cooking, outing, unboxing. I hope, I hope I tried. <laughs> so uh, please like this video if you've liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. It helps so, so much. I will leave all my links including to my Instagram where I post every day down below and I will see you soon. Bye!